Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. I realize that in this modern age, with so many things going on in our life, it is difficult to find time to cook. However, most people that I have ever talked to, they said they much prefer home cooking. I want you for sure, home cooking is healthier for you than fast and processed food. And for home cooking, if it is properly done, it is delicious and more flavorful than even you eat at the best restaurants. And for me, the important thing to make home cooking sustainable is to have a cooking system. And this is the reason that I developed my fast cooking system. And the word fast is the acronym of the four attributes, which is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. Uh, the purpose of my YouTube channel is to introduce my fast cooking system to you uh, so that I can help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routines. And for you to adopt my fast cooking system, uh, the first thing that you need is a wok. And the reason that you need a wok is because stir frying is the primary cooking technique for my cooking system. And with stir frying, you can cook with efficiency as well as flexibility in creating many different kind of dishes. All of these dishes would take only about 5 minutes on average to cook them. And when you combine stir frying with advanced prepping, you have no trouble in cooking a meal with 2 to 3 dishes in less than 30 minutes. And so having the right wok is crucial in the execution of my cooking system. First and foremost, you want to have a wok without non-stick coating, but have a natural surface that could be seasoned. And this includes woks that make from carbon steel, cast iron, light cast iron, and standard steel. And the seasoning process is to create a non-stick cooked surface using hot oil. Under certain temperature conditions, the oil will develop a protective layer on the surface of the cookware. And this will prevent the food from sticking to the surface during the cooking process. Uh, among these four materials, a carbon steel is the most popular, and stainless steel is the least. And the primary reason is that stainless steel is considered to be most difficult to be seasoned in create a non-stick cooked surface. And for most people, cooking in a stainless steel cookware could be frustrating, such as if you fry an egg, the egg will stick to the bottom of the wok. And despite this challenge, many people prefer stainless steel cookware. And they are easy to clean and maintain. Also, they are durable, and most importantly, stainless steel cookware will not rust. On the other hand, carbon steel like cast iron and cast iron cookware all will rust. And so if you could solve the problem of seasoning the stainless steel cookware, then you have the best possible cookware at your disposal. And many years ago, I purchased a stainless steel wok for the simple reason as I have mentioned earlier. I gave up using it uh, because everything I cook stuck to the bottom of the wok and they get burned. After I figured out my spot seasoning method for seasoning the stainless steel wok, I am now using my stainless steel wok as my everyday wok. As you probably noticed that all my videos is cooked with my 14 inch Cuisina stainless steel wok. As you can see here, my wok look clean and spotless. And the cleaning each time after I cook could not be easier. Uh, usually it takes me less than a minute. In this video, I would like to show you how I use my spot seasoning method to season my stainless steel wok each time before I cook. And the reason I call this method spot seasoning because I season the wok right on the spot before I cook. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to spot season my wok. I'm going to cook some egg right afterward. Cooking egg is notoriously difficult in a standard steel wok. Egg has a high tendency to stick and burn 
to the surface of a stainless steel wok. In this video, I'm going to first fry some egg in the wok and then I'm going to convert it into scrambled eggs. I'm going to do this demonstration using my Cucina 14 inch stainless steel wok, but you can use any other stainless steel wok. And the concept is the same, and they should all work very much the same way. Uh, as shown here, the first thing I'm going to do is to heat up the wok. Uh, the amount of time that it will take to heat up your wok uh, depends on many different factors. For example, your stove definitely could be a factor. A gas stove will heat up the wok faster than an electric stove. A wok with aluminum encapsulation will heat up faster than a single layer stainless steel wok. And of course, a smaller wok will heat up faster than a larger wok. And it did turn out that it is not critical how hot is your wok before you add the oil to the wok. If the wok is very hot before you add the oil, then it will take the oil shorter time to heat up. Now the next step is critical after you add the oil. And this is where you want to pay attention after you add the oil. And once the oil is in the wok, the temperature of the oil will start to rise. It will reach a temperature the oil start to dissociate and this will appear that the oil is start to smoke. At this temperature is frequently known as the smoking temperature or simply the smoking point. For most cooking oil, the smoke picking point temperature is around 440 degrees Fahrenheit. At this temperature, in addition from the dissociation of the oil in forming the oil smoke, it also allows the oil to form a polymer-like or plastic-like layer on the surface of the wok. And this is a time when the wok is being seasoned. And for the stainless steel wok, uh, as well as for carbon steel, like cast iron and cast iron woks, uh, this is the foundation of how the wok surface is being seasoned uh, to create a non-stick cooked surface. And therefore, the length of the time uh, that you allow this process to take place, the better your wok is going to be seasoned. Uh, however, oil film is unpleasant as well as negative health impact. And therefore, you want to minimize the oil film production, but at the same time, uh, to allow your wok to be seasoned. As soon as you notice that the oil film production has taken place, turn the stove down to low. You provide enough heat for the oil temperature to stay high, but without excessive oil film production. I usually maintain this oil film production slash temperature for about 15 seconds. And then I add the food ingredients to the wok and start cooking right away. Uh, this will drop the temperature of the oil, and I will then now turn the heat back up to high again. So in this video, I start with six eggs, which I broke up and put in a container, and I put the egg directly into the wok uh, without beating them up. Uh, this will provide a resemblance that I actually frying some eggs. Uh, this is a good demonstration on the effectiveness of the spot seasoning method. Because fried egg has a strong tendency uh, to stick to the surface and burn. As shown here, none of the egg get burned. And there may be a little bit sticking uh, to the surface of the wall, and it is probably because I did not put in enough cooking oil. And when I use my wok spatula to scramble the egg and then to flip the egg over, uh, you notice that the surface of the wok is completely clean. There is no egg stick to the bottom surface of the wok, which is a demonstration of the effectiveness of the spot seasoning method. It has created a non-stick cooked surface that is as good as a carbon steel, a light cast iron, or a cast iron wok. In fact, this performance is as good as if you were cook in a wok with non-stick coating. However, stainless steel wok has one problem that making it not a popular choice for stir frying. Because this seasoning is not cumulative, as in the case with cast iron, light cast iron, or carbon steel woks. 
and they can be easily rinsed off when you wash them in the sink. Also, by cooking certain types of foods,、uh, the seasonings also will be removed. And it turns out that the spot seasoning method is the solution. If you season the stainless steel wok each time、uh, before you cook with the spot seasoning method, you will be guaranteed with a cooked surface that are non-stick. And because of this simple modification,、uh, this very straightforward technique now allow me to use my stainless steel wok every day. All I have to do is to spot season the wok each time before I cook, and ever since then. I never have any problem with my stainless steel wok、uh, sticking during stir frying, or at least when I fry eggs.、Uh, I hope this video provide you useful informations to help you to solve the problem、uh, if you have food that are stick and burn to the surface of a stainless steel wok.、Uh, hopefully, this information also will be helpful to you、uh, if you are deciding whether you should get a stainless steel wok or not. I post a video each day、uh, to introduce to you, as well as help you to adopt my fast cooking system. This is a cooking system that is practical, efficient, fun, and creative.、Uh, for you to achieve better health for your body and better flavor for your palate. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.